Okay, this is just really quick to show the pieces once they came out. Um, this is the black. I don't know if you're... The lighting sucks. There you go. That's the black with the red and black glitter in it. Came out pretty nice. If you can see it well or not, I don't know, but... It's not for you, Nibbles. It's not food. You have food in your room. Go get it. This is the white, which we all know it cures white anyway. But there you go. This is the Pearl X. It's a, definitely a gray color. And um, here's the purple. As you can see, the two kind of met in the back, but it looks mostly white speckled with purple in the back, but it's definitely purple in the front. I noticed that a lot of these things, the um, color will be more bright on the, the face of the piece. Sometimes it doesn't fully turn that. It's weird, I know, but... Um, in this case, I think I should have used more purple um, powder. I didn't use very much purple powder, and I think the purple glitter is what really helped with this color here. Um, I didn't have much glitter in there either, so I think this would have been better with um, definitely more of the purple um, color in it. So that's how they turned out. See the backs kind of... That's the only thing I don't like about coloring Unless you use something like this, see this, that's on there because my mold, my pieces ran together. But see, this is almost a true color. But even that, you can see the white is starting to show through. Whereas on the front, it's uh, a dark peachy brown with the red glitter in there. And this is the actual dye made for the resin. So it does work, in my opinion, the best. But um, the black really works well. The black printing press paint really did work well and it's true through the back too. It's 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 like more of a dark grayish black on the back and black on the front. And that is with this one. Letter press ink. I have this in black and green. It's the only colors they had when they had them on clearance. And so there's another black piece. They turned out nice, the black pieces. So I really like that the centers are still soft. That's the thing about this, these paints too, the dyes and stuff. The fast curing resin normally would be rock hard by now, but because of the, the liquid paints and dyes that I used, they can still I can still bend them. They're not easy to bend, but I can still bend them. So it'll take a little bit longer to cure than it normally does because normally this would be hard by my nail but um, I just wanted to pop them out and show y'all the result this one the colors overlap so I got the the gray from the pearl X into the black with the red and black the black glitter has hints of green in it it's called licorice I really like that glitter from Martha Stewart and um but the black is true black. It really does come out black. So, um, that's just uh, how they came out. That's the Pearl X with the white sparkly glitter I, I like to use. I got this at um, Marshall's, the Inca Dinka Do glitter powder, pearlescent. I bought all the ones they had. They were $1.49 for this big old thing. And I mean, it's like the um, the Glamour Dust. That's exactly what this is like. And it's a much cheaper. So if y'all ever find this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross, definitely get it in the white color, the pearl, pearlescent. They had other colors, and I didn't really care for those. I like the, the pearl one, though. So, um, because the, the Glamour Dust, you get almost same amount in the bottle as you do in this this box and it's like six bucks a bottle and this is a dollar forty nine I mean <laughs> come on so anyway this I really like this one this one turned out awesome 
And the owl one turned out awesome. Of course, the middle is kind of thin, but that's okay. And then the gargoyle. And this red one came out kind of cool, too. Except for I had something in my mold. But it'll be covered by a dome anyway, so... But that one ten turned out cool. So that's how they turned out. The peach is nice. It's it's not really a, I don't even know what to make this color, what this color is called, but it uh and this is that lid that I was pouring all the extra resin into that I had. The purple, the gray, and the Native American with the red glitter. So that's a trinket box lid with different colors on it. Oh well. Anyway, that's it. That's that's how the pieces came out. So you can see how the coloring worked once they cured. And uh, that's it. Now I've got six minutes, so I, I'll show you the latest pieces I did. I'm still working on them, but this is the latest stuff that I did. I did this one. I gotta add some rhinestones or something to it. And I really hate this. I'm gonna mold these. I made me some pieces to mold because my silicone molds once again ripped and I gotta sand all that silicone off and then I'm gonna have to you know resin that because it'll have scratches on it. And I made this one, which I have to add something to. This one, which I've got a couple different ideas about what to add to it. And then um uh, this is that millipede or centipede that my husband caught for me. Uh, I dried it out and stuck it in here, which is some cellophane and a gray background. And then I made a couple of unicorn horns. They haven't been sanded or anything. I made a tombstone with a butterfly wing in it. And this one had a bug in it, but the bug broken two separated so that sucks and then I made a couple of these for earrings these with little flowers in them it has cellophane and stuff behind it and then these have little flowers in them as well I'll make those into earrings and then these little earrings, I'll make those into earrings as well. They haven't been sanded or nothing, so. And then of course, I don't know, I think I, I don't know if I showed the bug pieces I made, but I made these earrings to match this pendant. So I'll make those into earrings and that into a pendant and this one into a pendant real sparkly this one this real sparkly too then this one and a butterfly ring this little bug glows in the dark he's iridescent green I don't know if you could see it on the bug, but he is iridescent green. Pretty cool. And then um, I made this piece. It says red rum, and I glued that little axe to it, added some blood. And then I made this piece, and I glued this upside down cross to it. It's got this like vintage Renaissance zombie looking girl. I really like that. And then. Um, I'm going to add emerald crystals around the edge on top. Actually on the top of it, not on the edge, but, you know, it'll outline it. And that's going to be that piece. And I think that's pretty much it. That's all I've done. Um, I got some things I want to mold. I'm going to mold these. I thought these were pretty cool. I'm going to mold those. And then I got these skulls. There's three different ones. Little tin lids. I'm going to mold those too. So, and I still got to mold this mustache box. But I got to find 
something big enough to put it in. So that's it. That's all I've done lately. I haven't been really doing much. So I will talk to y'all later. I hope that helped, Rebecca. Um, sorry it was so freaking long. But I just wanted to show you the different kinds. So talk to y'all later, everybody. Bye.